Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Cross Watchers. I feel like it's been a minute, Sagittarius, since I've done your reading. So I hope you guys are doing well. If you're a Cross Watcher, this could either be the Sagittarius you're watching for, or this could be your energy. Take it as it resonates, okay? So we're going to use the Witch's Tarot starting off. What is going on with my Sagittarius? All right, King of Wands reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo. This could also be a Sag or Aries. Someone who's really angry, possibly really bitter. Um, kind of nasty, to be honest, is the energy I'm getting. This person is in their masculine energy. Definitely could be a Leo. And they're not holding back. So perhaps they have something to say to you. Now we have Sagittarius. What really needs to happen is healing in this. But they feel like there's unfinished business here. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, and possibly Leo again. All right. So um, this person feels like this situation was unjust. There wasn't healing. It wasn't balanced. They want to bring balance and restoration. If this is you guys, just be careful because... If you're wanting karma for someone, it's not going to happen by doing something bad because then you're creating bad karma. You just have to leave it up to the universe, okay? This this strength card, and this I think someone here feels bitter. They feel angry. They've given their power away, and they also feel like someone took their power away. And it's just really comes down to a weakness within them that they need to heal. They're not understanding that this lesson is not about forcing anything on the other person, but it's about that person having the level of awareness. This lion to me has like a snarky kind of <laughs> like the smile, like, you know, but it's almost like cutting off your nose to spite your face. So be careful what you do here. Okay. I'm not going to like continue i'm gonna try to channel some other energies because this is like a very specific and it's because with this codependency someone has given their power away they feel like someone else has jurisdiction over their life or they've lost power they they became co too codependent here all right way too many cards there's a loss of independence here and someone feels angry about it. Three of Cups, this could have been a third party situation and Nine of Cups. So I feel like someone's will of what they want is taking over like their joy. It's taking over even like a possible connection. So it's like what I feel, what the answer is, there needs to be more flexibility here. There needs to be a more focus on connection rather than like winning or getting what you want. There needs to be a, a more of a, a collaborative energy here okay so um very specific message we're going to use the soul activation oracle deck this is from rising sun oracle what other what chakras are coming up here vision fulfillment you see that's that nine of cups wanting like it's like really wanting something seeing what you want admire and create we've got two sacral energies so, okay, if this is you guys, guys, I feel like, or whoever this is, I feel like this person needs to focus more on, like, themselves and their energy versus, like, how they want someone else to fit into their energy. It's like, okay, all these things are coming up, all these things you desire, all these things you want. It doesn't mean you have to force someone else to be that. It just means that knowing that puts you in alignment already. But when you're trying to force someone else to be that way, it takes you out of alignment, okay? So there's something beautiful that could come out of this awareness here. I'm going to use silhouettes from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. So usually I do more of a love reading. So let's get some love messages. Divination. Sometimes it's best not to know. Trust and believe that's what, what's meant for you will find you. You see? So this is about trusting the divine more and surrendering bitterness oh my god you guys um i just thought of a bitter pill and then i thought a jagged little pill from alanis morsa that's the song that i'm i don't even actually know it but it's what's coming to me because alanis morsa was already on my mind before this and this you guys i literally said bitterness 
when someone else lives happily ever after with the one you love so perhaps there was a third party situation you felt like someone got what you wanted but remember not getting what you wanted some want sometimes is the best stroke of luck from the universe so you have to be willing to be flexible and see that maybe perhaps what you wanted wasn't as good as what you're going to actually get but you've got to let go of that bitterness that's that lesson for you here fifth dimension when our 3d world is spiraling out of control here is where chaos cannot touch us here is where we can just be and that's within that's within this divine energy like just kind of being in your own energy of like what feels good to you what feels aligned for you and not focusing so much on what's not happening for you okay finish line don't stop now and fitness goals kissing burns there is this very like pursuing energy here and i feel like it's like someone just really pushing hard trying to get somewhere and the message I just keep getting is it's better to just let go okay let's get more advice from i wish i knew the um i wish i knew the lyrics to the jagged little pill i'm gonna use my twin flame current vibes i have not used my deck in a while i was gonna use a different deck but i'm being called to use this let's get some messages from your person I may make the title of this, though, from the Jagged Little Pill. Okay. Well, I do have in my head, you live, you learn, you love. Control, that's what this is about. Someone feels like they lost control and they're bitter about it. I try to control situations so I don't come across as vulnerable as I feel. It's what these deep lessons of self-discovery that someone is learning i now know what i have to do crystal clear sunshine you bring joy to my life secrets there is a lot about me i don't share ways i feel things i have done i hold it all in so i feel like there's also this energy of like not knowing what someone thinks or feels but also not making assumptions about why people do the things they do because you may be projecting your own idea onto why they did what they did but you don't really know okay and this has a lot to do with the divine feminine energy so i feel like for you guys there's a lot of divine feminine healing sunshine could really help imagining like a golden glittery yellow light like pouring through your brain and your body i've been doing that for three years now with my brain healing just bringing more light to your body and to your brain and to your nervous system okay because you might be in this hyperdrive of like this old behavior that you've been in for so long and you don't even know any other way to be all right so i want to get more tarot here all right so the person sagittarius is dealing with let's see their energy well take this as it resonates okay just get someone's energy within this situation Someone here is trying to let go of codependency, of negative thinking, okay, of attachments, of these things you think you need, these ego boosts, okay, control. This is what I feel keeps coming up in the reading is like this is an opportunity to release all these chains that are not assisting you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Ace of Cups, perhaps a lack of self-love here, a lack of heart chakra opening and it's because it's like a fear of vulnerability here okay and then we have queen of cups and i feel like that's kind of the answer here you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio and then we have ace of swords you are gonna you see we have crystal clear and ace of swords so you are gonna get the truth at some point if that's what you're wanting if that's what you think will release you but i feel like someone here has to come from more of a place of love and tenderness and kindness and like soften the edges because there's this really sharp bitter energy and it's not getting anyone anywhere here okay um so self-care self-love being around people who bring joy to your life who don't feed into your negative talk who don't feed into your negative beliefs about yourself who don't put you down and also not putting yourself down as well so there's just um 
what's coming to me too is that song lift me up love every day lift me up love from the bottom it's from dave matthews it's old i don't know why it just came through but that's your reading sagittarius i hope it resonates i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye